Let's get it. Mark and Wheel, yeah, yeah. Mark and Wheel, yeah, yeah. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Monday through Friday, player. Watch it while you own it, go. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Catch them at 8 p.m. They're gonna tell you what they know. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Monday through Friday, player. Watch it while you own it, go. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Catch them at 8 p.m. They're gonna tell you what they know. Welcome back to another great episode of the oh, Mark and Will Show. And of course, you always have your favorite two hosts of the most, Mark and Will. What's up, my brother? What's going on? What's going on? Monday night cruising, big time. Uh, full of fat. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of goodie. You know what I'm saying? Big time like yes, uh, uh, yes, uh, Yeah, man. Uh, I want to go ahead and shout out happy anniversary to my parents. Uh, you know, absolutely. Man, if, if Pops was still alive, I think it's 52 years or something like yep. that. Yep. So, that's off the, uh, you know, that. Yes, sir. Happy anniversary. Thing. Yes. So, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. How you doing today, man? Hey, man, I'm blessed. You know, off day, you know my work schedule. Everybody else don't, but you do. Right. <laughs> I'm good. Working on getting everything together, man. You know how that goes, man. How was your day, man? How was you? But I can't can't complain, man. I went ahead and had to go ahead. And, mm. I was gonna spend big time money get some tires, but uh, <laughs> you know, able to get you know what I'm saying get that solved. But eventually, you know what I'm saying nothing like that spinning. You know when you go to these uh, these tire shops and stuff and and auto shops, you know. Uh, they just think that money grows on trees. Well, you know, they hey, absolutely you do. Need, you need four. Well, right now, I need one. You know what I'm <laughs> Eventually, yeah, I understand what I do need. But right now, yeah. unless you go ahead and pay for it, nah, partner, it ain't happening like that. Just do as you say. Yeah. And look, let me do, look. you love lucky to get this one. You know what I'm saying? Look, plug <laughs> it. If not, then I'm going to go ahead and buy this one. If you can't plug it, then that's a totally different story. I what will you get say, that. Yeah. Money don't grow on trees, partners. I understand y'all. Absolutely do don't. But come on, man. After <laughs> that, man, actually, I was, and I and I, I, I give them a shout out to them, Can Run, Big O, because they got me in and out quick. Where it was all, it's right. all popping up. What you think? It's a club. This pop, pop. I already know, oh. brother. So yeah, went ahead, took care of that, had a nice little walk, went to uh, uh, JV game, saw uh, Mel and uh, Ballard. The uh, Mel beat them twenty-seven to zero. Uh, but you know, other than that, man, I, I, I can't complain, man. I know you went to a game today. How how the how the, the Bulldogs, the other Bulldogs do? I'm gonna say this: I don't even care about the score. I was just there to support my son. That's all that mattered to me. <laughs> First year playing, you know what I'm saying? You got to get it together. He's gonna eventually get it. You know, so I got faith in him or whatever. You know, it's 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 cr the crazy thing is, bro. It's hard to really get the football thing when you go to high school. Yeah. When you when you've been like me and you've been playing since little league, you know what I'm saying? So we know the game, we know how everything is, how everything works. When you go to high school and try to start playing, that's different. Yeah. So I got faith in him to do what he do, man. Love him to death. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you about something else off air, but that I didn't like, but it is what it is. Right. Got work, got work your butt off. That's that's for sure, you know. And like you said, that, that is a hard thing to do. I mean, only only people that kind of get away with a little bit. If you like, you know, when they bring the basketball players, and most of them they might have dibble dabble when they was younger, and you know, then they just run, right hey, go long, just keep going. That type of stuff. They ain't doing what you said. That's, what you they said. They ain't doing nothing like it. <laughs> go long, go, and I'm just gonna throw it up. You just run it down. That kind of stuff like it. Right. So, Right, but uh, talk about well, you know what? We'll talk about that a little later. The the high school games, uh, just yeah, a little bit later. Later, um, you know that kind of stuff. Anything else you need to say before we move on? Yeah, bro? I want I want I want to do a little shout out real quick for my OG who I used to work with, uh, Tyrone. His son was in a tragic accident 
car flipped over, his car blew out. The car flipped over three times. He, he was ejected out of the car. Uh, fortunately, he lost his uh, he he lost his leg, but he's still living. That's all that matter. He's still here. He's in high spirit. I just want everybody to pray for that family for me because it could have been anybody else's child. You know what I'm saying? But just pray for him, man, because that's a horrible accident that happened. He's praying. Hey, I talked to him before the show. He said, man, I ain't know you had a podcast. I'm going to start watching you. I love sports. So we got a new subscriber coming to the thing. He's in high spirit, man. And it's crazy because you might not have people with high spirit like that who lost a limb on their body. You know what I'm saying? But he's in very high spirit. Everybody just pray for him. For me. Appreciate y'all, man. Yep, yep. What's up, Shane? How you doing? This uh late night. Late night with Mark Absolutely. And Will. Late night with Mark and Will. Yes, sir. Uh, so you guys already know social media, Mark and Will Show.com. You know where to find us. If not, you know now. Uh, you know, at the Mark and Will Show, everything across the board. We there. Check it out. You love it. We love it. Absolutely. We love it. Check it out. Uh, you, you, everything. You know what I'm saying? You like little things? Hey, TikTok. Right? Oh, everything, <laughs> right. man. It's all different stuff. So uh, go ahead. Everything's there. Follow, subscribe, all that good stuff, big time. Uh, big FNC. Actually, we've been on a little bit. Uh, Saturday, so we don't you know, check that out. FNC colon Friday Night Crew, that's the channel. Check it out. We had great, absolutely, uh, great topics. Subscribe. You know, we're just trying to go ahead and do what we can to try to find a way to get that back on Friday. But if not, that's cool. Whenever we can get in, we get it in. Thanks everybody for flexibility because you know, I'll be texting late trying to figure out or you know. Uh, this particular time, I think it's Shannon I was like, hey, we're going to do it Saturday or try to. So thank everybody who's a part of that. Appreciate uh, it. I'll do that. So, hey, love it. So uh, continue to uh, support. Uh, become a supporter of that. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Bing! This right here, I'm telling y'all, it's, oh, we Jesus. It's her. I got to get my brakes fixed in the morning, but I am going live tomorrow. Trust me when y'all don't. I tell you, I'm going live tomorrow before we get on the uh, our big show because Mark and Will show is the biggest. We'll make sure y'all subscribe to that. The Gamer Channel, F and C, everything that we got going on, we coming. I promise you, bro. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna show him everything. Once he get on that Madden and that MLB, y'all ain't going no part of him. Nah, nah. Maxwell, I'm calling you out. You don't want no part of Will. Sorry. <laughs> don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. Shoot. I've been I done started the season in MLB, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'll tell you what though. They grind me though. They grind me. I know they are. How those, those pictures are. are. If those pictures are legit, they are legit on that game, and you are not them like you do other stuff. I'm up with grinding <laughs> out five to one, three to two. Lost my right. lost my first game, and I'm gonna tell you how I lost. It was so disgusting. I I don't even know how I slept that night. No, I'm up. I think I was up like four to three, bottom of the ninth. Two outs, a man on. Boom! Nah, I was up four two. Two runners on. Solar, who used to be with the uh, Atlanta Braves. Took my dude yard three run home run game over. I'm like, Jeez. ah! It ain't like Come you, on, man. It ain't like you can go ahead and be like, wait, 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 wait. Like, ah! You don't get no more. It's over. Game over. Walk off on. Yeah, it's a wrap. Like, man. It, yeah. So yeah, we get we getting kind of serious now. We getting kind of serious. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of serious. <laughs> Big time. All right. So look, look. High school. You know what I'm saying? On the bottom, you're going to see it scrolling and things like that. Uh, so, real quick, we'll go over the scoreboard. Wagner, 34. East Ridge, 40. Brian Station got handed big time by Frederick Douglass, 52 to 7. Lexi Christian lost to Madison Central, 38 to 34. DuPont Manuel came in and beat Central, 40. They did what they did. Uh, DeSales lost uh, 45 to 7 to Central Harden. 
KCD got beat by Eastern 46. Mel 42 for a Central 7. Fort Knox with a squeaker over Shawnee, 8 to 6. Henry County beat Afton 27-13. Fern Creek blasted J-Town 50-63. Speaking of blasting, PRP blasted Valley 60 to nothing. At her. Highlands 42, Shelby County 28, Dawes 26, Southern 47, Beachwood destroyed Ferdell 36 to nothing. Hats off to Coach Hatchett and his first win as a coach uh, for Southern. Uh, man, yeah. it was some it was some, some shaking going on. Talk about the PRP game, man. You was at, the, at that game. Uh, yeah, yeah, you see that, yeah, uh, I... that debacle? Yeah, I, I was most definitely there, and um, it was it, it, yeah. Hats off the valley, you know what I'm saying? They was there and they played all day starters and stuff like that. You know, to so get these kids them reps and stuff like that. I appreciate that, you know what I'm saying? But PIP came out did what they did. I won't say this, my son AJ, he did what he did on defense. That's a great job. I'm proud of you, or whatever. But like me and Will always talk about. No disregard to Valley or nothing like that. I just want to see some better stuff against a better competition and stuff like that or whatever. But Santana had a great game. Young boy. Uh, I cannot think of that young boy who committed to K- Kentucky, dude. What is his name? Uh, he's, he's number one. I'm going to say that. He's number one. He had two touchdowns and stuff like that. He did his thing. The quarterback did great and stuff like that, you know. So they went out there and did what they were supposed to do. We got Dawson next week. So – do what you did what you did Friday last week and do it again this week, man. And then once we go to Bowling Green, let's see what we do when we go to Bowling Green. <laughs> Road trip. It's a business. Yes, I, it's a business trip. Business trip. Business. Gotta get off work and go straight to Bowling Green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All that stuff. Uh what the mail game was like, brother. Uh it, you know what? Mail uh of course won forty two percent, but it, this put it this way. They have Sweeney and you don't. What you said? The monster. He, I mean, you know, the line is growing. You know what I'm saying? A new line, um, both offensive defense. But when you got that monster, man, I mean, you know, it was so many plays that was called back on what the refs were doing. I'm not saying they were cheating, but it was a lot of long plays. Long plays. <laughs> I mean, it was, I mean, you. I thought Dallas Cowboys was playing, man. Jesus. I mean, that's how many flags <laughs> I'm like, every big play is like, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, like I don't know how many more don't do yards, like that. I don't know how many yardage that he got taken away, but he still had like two twenty something right ridiculous right. numbers, you know what I'm saying? Dude is this hey, he's, he's a different breed, dude. He's huge, dude. And then you know what I'm saying, uh, Lucas he started, you know what I'm saying? He was getting in the rhythm, the defense was finding their way. Michi Dunlap balled. Uh Two interceptions, one uh, pick six, uh, you know. Uh, Young man, ball. Malone ball. Malone ball, he had two sacks, all kinds of stuff, man. You know, it. they did what they're supposed to do. You know, we'll see. This week they go to uh, Ed Ballard. So, you know, the competition. Right. This, uh, get it some better. You know, get better. You know, on the road. Anytime you can the road is, is something else. But, you know, got to take care of that. Because if you take care of that, you 2-0, and you come back home. And your season opener, you got St. X. Oh, come on, come on, come on, boom! Let's get off there, baby. The drill, mm-hmm. Off the drill, boom! So excited to see that, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Stuff yes. like that. So, hey, you know what? And the great thing, guys, don't forget tomorrow we will be announcing who our players of the week, week, week is big time and i love it because we've been getting i mean i don't know if you've been seeing these numbers and stuff these numbers no i on these polls and stuff like that and i just want to let everybody know now the reason why i had to break it up because twitter won't let you do six or seven eight what you said things which kind of sucks so basically what i'm going to do whatever mm-hmm. say for instance if it's one say if it's 180 votes so if somebody's got 59 well you know you times that you know 179 or whatever times 0.59, and that's going to give how many votes that person actually gets. Right, right. So, so even if you're on that lower tier, and like, for instance, we got a, uh, a, uh, the defensive player of the week so far, we got 179 votes on the upper tier on the first one. On the second, we only got 60. 
Well, that's not going to hurt you because even though we got a kid that got 67%, well, that's 67% be times by 60. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it'll work out. We'll see how many numbers will play out like that. But uh, been great. So I want to uh, list uh, the people right now so far. So we're talking about Offensive Player of the Week. We're talking about uh, Caden Anderson. That's the guy you was talking about, PRP. 10 for 10, 360 Yard seven TDs. Daniel Sweeney, 20 carry, okay? 20 carries, 225 yards, three TDs. The, uh, Damaro Brown, I probably butchered his name, I'm sorry. 17 carries, 236 yards, two TDs, 89-yard kickoff return. Keon Gooden, 17 for 20, 268 yards, passing four TDs. 19 carries, 163 yards rushing, two TDs. Looking like uh, Lamar Jackson out there. Uh, Southern's uh, quarterback, Calvin Cofondo, had five rushing touchdowns, one pass touchdown. Uh, Mikael Malone had six carries, 133, I mean, 113 yards, three TDs. Chris Perry, six for 12, 120 yards passing, one TD. 19 carries, 110 yards, three TDs. And... Uh, Kobe Jones for Wagner had 22 carries, 291 yards, three TD. <clears throat> Defense side, we got uh, David Fan had 15 tackles, one tackle for loss. AJ Anthony Woods, PRP, he had three tackles, two interceptions, one TD for a touchdown, one of the interceptions for a touchdown. Demetrius Dunlap, Demetrius Dunlap, four tackles, two interceptions, one TD for a touchdown. Uh, well, interception for a touchdown, I meant. Tyler Ballard, 14 tackles, one tackle for a loss. Holy Cross, DeAndre Malone, Mayo had eight tackles, two tackles for a loss, two sacks. Machado Dixon, three tackles, two interceptions. Let's go. Tomorrow we'll name them. We'll have three awards. We'll have the national player. We'll have the offense and the defense. Mark me drink some water. Some of them are losing it over there. Not good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Big time. So, hey, can't wait to see. And that's sponsored by Tap Out Big Time. So, we're going to rock and roll with that. So, make sure you guys tune in. It's going to be on the show. And actually, tomorrow we're supposed to have the Hall of Famer. Basically, you know, uh, the sales great Chris Dishman on the show big time. So, we'll check him out, see what he's up to, talk about his career. And we'll talk about who wins these awards, man. Absolutely. Get into the football. <laughs> Baseball, baseball, Sunday, August 21st. We have the Raiders who took down Pittsburgh, 9-5. I'm going to say his score. Got to. <laughs> Houston beat Atlanta, 5-4. Yeah, boo. boo. Ma Miami lose to Dodgers, 10-3. Mets beat Phillies, 10-9. Detroit beat the A's, 4-0. <laughs> Why my allergies I was? Come on now. <laughs> Tampa Bay beat KC 3-2. Yankees beat Blue Jays 4-2. Texas beat Twins 7-4. 7 nothing. Milwaukee beat the Cubs 5-2. The Giants beat the Rockies 9-8. That was a good game. Yep. A's beat uh, Seattle 5-3. St. Louis beat the Diamondbacks. Yes, 6-4. I like St. Louis, bro. I don't know why. St. Louis, bro, because they, they, they win us. They always win. I ain't going to lie. Right. Padres beat Washington 2-1. Baltimore beat Red Sox 5-3. It was a postponed game yesterday with the Guardians the White Sox. Monday, August 22nd. Atlanta is up on Pittsburgh right now 2-0 at the top of the field. Phillies is up on the Reds 3-0. Yankees is fairly winning Against the Mets, four yes, come on, come, come on. on. We need that. Tampa Bay is on the A's, two one. Texas is on the Twins, two one. St. Louis is zero zero to the Cubs, and I don't know what, what's going on with that. <laughs> KC beat the White Sox earlier, six to four. Milwaukee and LA plays at 10 10. Then you got Miami and the A's that play at 9 40. Cool, all right. Uh Standing. Let's go and get the American League East. We got the Yankees 
only, and I'm saying this only because it's been figures for a while, only have an eight game lead over the Rays and the Blue Jays. So, you know, that was a little slide that they've been doing kind of hurt them big time because in the last 10 games, the Yankees have only been three and seven. So that, that you can't be doing that. They three and seven. No, nah, absolutely. But Tampa, can't. Rays, Tampa, Bay, uh, uh, Tampa Bay Rays were seven and three. So they made up four games over on them. In the American League Central, you had the, Guard- the Guardians got a one and a half lead over the Twins and a three game lead-, lead over the White Sox. In the West, you got the Houston Astros chuckling along. They got an 11 and a half game uh, lead over the Mariners. In the, American- in the National League East, you got the a four game lead over the Braves. Uh, in the Central, you got the Cardinals with a five game lead over the Brewers. They're stretching it out. Yep. Uh, in the West, you got the Dodgers with an 18 game over the Padres and like wow but the Padres in good in good shape because they're the the second wild card of the season ended today so they just got to keep winning they can't even worry about the Dodgers they just got to keep winning so absolutely keep right the Dodgers is keep doing you don't even worry about it keep moving WNBA hey hey you had the Sunday last night. Wings beat the Suns 18-9 to 79. Then you had Washington. They went down to uh, the Storm 84 to 97. Yeah, and um, mm. let me go with the Mystics and the Storm real quick. Let me let me cover that one. Uh, and actually, it's 97. Let's get the correct score. Sure. Um, that right there, it was mm-hmm. a right close game, and then all of a sudden, that third quarter, Storms uh, just took off on them. Um, so you know, when you look at the Storms, I mean, it, it, it's uh, it's UConn all over, uh, big time because you got to think Stewart, UConn, uh, Gabby Williams, UConn, Tina Charles, UConn, Sue Bird, UConn, and Lloyd, Notre Dame. Before they started. UConn. Right. I mean, it, it is UConn all over again. And we're talking about bowlers. We ain't talking about somebody that's not existing. So, you know, Stewie, she had 21 points, 8 assists, 10 boards. Sue Bird, 18 and 10 assists. Uh, Crazy. He was 14. Uh, Tina Charles, 12. Lloyd, 19. You know, and uh, and hats off to uh, Washington. Della Don came back. She never had back problems, all kinds of different stuff she was able to do. Come back and do her thing. She had 12, but, you know, Cloud, 21. Mahisha had Allen, 4. You know, it's not in your car, so they lost. It's over. With. I do want to, before I go to the other one, I'll just, and I'll, let me flash up real quick. Um, the Wings came in the front, which is yeah. one to one. I want to go back and hit. We talked about last week about mm. having to fight the three game series uh, thing because, you know, it's 2 1. Anything can happen. And that's before I realized that not only is that three game sucky, the first two games is played at whoever the best team was. Right? Exactly. So you look at it and you're like, oh, okay, that's cool, that's good. You know, we man, these are professional basketball players. Anything can happen. Yes, these are women professional basketball players. That meaning, if you don't bring your lunch, you can get beat. Kind of like how Chicago. Got B Scott, but yeah. in a yeah. normal setting, you would think first game okay at Chicago, next game in New York, then the get the last game, the deciding game is goes to whoever had the best record because hey, you exactly. earned that privilege. So the deciding game is at your crib. No, the deciding game is at the the weaker team, the lesser team. Right, right. That is ridiculous. I understand you want to say, well, travel, I don't like travel, it travel, travel. Well, you know what? You got these, uh, uh, make these NBA owners who own these teams pay up and let them go. That type of stuff. So that is ridiculous. I've never seen nothing like that in my life. So now you have this guy that has to go play at Liberty to advance the next, uh, the next round. And I think that game is like what tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. So that yep. that is that is ridiculous. That's an epic that's an epic failure on the WNBA. That's 
That's not fair. I agree with that. I, I really agree with that. That's not fair. That's crazy. I mean, that's mm. I, I've never seen nothing like my, my life. That's I ain't neither. And you can say, well, they ain't supposed to win. Anything can happen. That's why you play just, so hard to have the last game, baby, to be at your crib. I'm glad you said that because anything can happen, just like the UFC fight that happened this weekend with Uso. Hmm. He dominated the whole four fights and got that kick in his face and got knocked out. You I'll never know what's going to happen. All it takes is one. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's all it takes. Everybody, you know, hey, but you, you're supposed to. Well, everybody's supposed to. If you're supposed right. to, why you play the game? So, I mean, I, right. I feel, and, it's, and then about it, it's going to be it's gonna be a game. It's going to be a good game. Yeah, it's going to be a good one tomorrow, it's, baby. It's Chicago. It's 9 o'clock. Yep, Chicago's going to have to bring it. Gonna have to bring it unless you oh, unless you going home. You gonna go home real right. real, real, real tough like that, right, right now. Look at this this right here. I mean, Donald, I'm so sorry for you, brother. I mean, you know, I, I try to save you. You know, Panthers quarterback, Mister Baker Mayfield named the starter. Uh, right. Uh, you know what, Donald? Donald, you just you, if I'm you, I, I'm asking to be traded. Uh, today. I'm sorry. I I mean, I've seen some other. I mean, I don't think he is top echelon, but mm. I see some teams that, you know, uh, that got worse quarterbacks starting than him. So, absolutely. <laughs> I didn't say that was great, bro. It wasn't a surprise for me because that's why they brought Baker over yeah, there. That's why you go get him. That's why they traded for him because they didn't believe in Donald anyway. Oh. Donald, and then you got a um, – don't they got a, a rookie or quarterback, too, or something? They got somebody yes. else. It, too. They, it, it, it's, it's over like, okay, Donald, you got it. It's your job to lose. Like, it's every quarterback in the league's right. job to lose or whatever. You know right. what I'm saying? But in this position, hey, Baker, it's on you, brother. Hey, go out there and throw for three get, interceptions. Which back are you getting? You know what I'm saying? I mean, right. Because – you know he had he had some solid seasons with uh, Browns. Not you know yeah he did he absolutely did. So but oh here it is I take it back Matt Corral who they who they uh, uh, drafted you know he's hurt he done tore his foot up yeah he's out for the season so Baker show job yeah and then you got PJ Walker you know what I'm saying he's been around so if I'm done I'm like ah right, you got it. Because my thing is, if the banker shows up from the, that was on the team last year or whatever with the Browns, you, my thing is, I can't give up nothing for him. I'm, I, I'll give a seven round for Baker. I want to give a seven. Like, uh, absolutely. I'm not giving up nothing. I'm not giving up third round for. I forgot what he went for or whatever, but I'm not giving. But they got him. I'm not getting nothing for him, dude. He's, but the, the biggest question is now. How do you feel, Cleveland? I mean, you got the, the guy that you wouldn't get right. done for 11, for right. 11 games. So should you have kept Baker and try to see for another two years? Or did y'all just say, oh, we done? I think, to be honest, when all that stuff was going on and the league caught win of, you know, after the league got mad at them for giving him 230-something mil. After yeah. they found out that yeah. nobody was going to trade for him because that contract, I think they try to reel it back in. I think they try to say, okay, well, he is going to get suspended. Hey, Baker. Hey, Baker. Because then you remember Baker was like, nah, dude, I'm done. Like, I'm not. Nah, get me I'm out of here. And I don't blame him. Yeah, yeah. I don't blame him either. I'm done. Y'all picked who y'all wanted. Peace. Y'all brought a dude in here. Get me yeah. out of here. And not only did you bring in Watson, you brought in. Uh, 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 Brissett, who's everybody knows, is a, a backup, a capable backup for about three or four games, five games, something like that. So the you already, had, the league. <laughs> you already had a contingent plan in mind. Yeah. Like, okay, he'll get suspended six games. Brissett can play six yeah. games. All this stuff, and then we got Dobbs. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you already did a movement. You already you showed your cards, and didn't know that the league said. Right. Ah! Yeah. He ain't getting fixed. Right. Hey, bro. <laughs> Good luck with that. You ain't slick. Right. Right. And so, yeah, I think they did. And Baker, I, I bet you anything Baker was like, and that meeting, he probably was cussing left. Man, I ain't staying here. You got me messed up, bro. Right. And I'm still going to get that little 20. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody's get yeah, from y'all. Y'all got to pay me. Right. Like, we ain't paying that, but y'all will. Y'all going to pay me, though. Yeah, somebody's going to pay Absolutely. And you better hope he don't get hurt. If he get hurt, then he's really just mobbing. Oh, Jesus. He's mobbing. He's doing what he got to do. Only progress, uh, progressive, he, he moved to a different state. They going to move him over there and talk about that thing. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. Him and his wife done relocated. Then I got their vouchers. They gone. They out. Right. They said, oh, yeah, let's bring him in up. If it wasn't Brady, would this be a big deal? Brady returns to practice after missing 11 days. Me, personally, I don't think it would be only because Brady went to 10 and got 7. Right. If Brady said, I want time off, Brady going to get that time off. Regardless, if he was at Cleveland Browns, Carolina, the Jets, or wherever he would have been at, they was going to give him that time off. He he deserved that time off to do what he do because he probably went back home and said, do I want to stay here or do I want to go back home? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it? It's him. It's Brady. It's Brady. What are we talking do? about? What you going to do? You're lucky that he shows up any day, really. Exactly. So the whole thing is he lost the coach, which he's still there. We know that. But at the end of the day, Brady is probably like, do I really want to play for this guy? <laughs> I you like you. Do I want to play for this guy? I like you, but. Oh, no. I, don't know. I think this would, would, would be his so last look, season. You you wasn't too sharp when you was playing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> This is last season. He's done. So too. Uh, He's I, done. I saw. I saw what somebody was saying. Brady and Grunt to the Raiders because McDaniel. No. <laughs> no, but did you see it though? That uh, Dana White was talking about that. Oh wow. Dana White. Dana White. You know, because he's real cool with NFL owners and stuff like that. Whatever the case may be. He came out and said, Gruden. Had the chance to get Tom Brady and Grump, and he blew the trade up. Oh, and, and Dana White was like, he was in the midst of that trade. Wow. Like, dude, we got to go get them type of thing, and grew and blew it up to where he was like, nah, we don't, we ain't getting them. <laughs> to where he was like, you ain't gonna go get Tom Brady and Grump. What the hell is wrong with you? Right, right. right. Ego, <laughs> ego, because he knew that it becomes Tom Brady's team. It's not absolutely, and he, knew, and he knew he knew he could not control him. So you know what I'm saying? And it's like, nah. And that's the reason why you. That's that's the reason why it, if any coach that would do that would be a coach who whose ego is out of this world and wants to everybody know that this is my team. This is me. Not I, I control this. Not Tommy. This is my team. What you said. And that's you why, said. why you do silly stuff like that because your ego and everything. And we see where he's at now. So on the team. Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Chuck e. Cheese. <laughs> Bad news for Giants rookie Thibodeau, the defensive end. Uh, I think the, the top five, top ten pick or whatever. Uh, yeah. Thibodeau to miss three or four weeks. Took a nasty hit on that knee. Uh, that was bad. You know, I saw some people like, oh, it's a cheap shot. Then I saw some offensive linemen step up like, no, nah, that wasn't a cheap shot. You know what I'm saying? He can do that. Um, when at the but, game against Cincinnati? It was uh, it was last week. I mean, this past week. Whoever they played, yeah. got them. So, yeah. I saw it. Yeah. And, and you know what? The thing about it hey, is. I'm, I'm going to say this real quick. It was wasn't. It. I don't believe that was an office alignment who did that. Oh, no. But I office, watched that play. Office alignment is only protect saying that it's not a legal block, illegal block. No, it was like I'm a tight end. It was like a tight end in question. Because I saw that play. I'm glad you brought this up. I saw that play. And dude could have went higher, but he went low, low. To where it was almost like it was out of the play. Towards like you didn't even, he didn't even have a chance to even get the tackle anyway. Trap, but I want to I'm I'm going to look at that play again just to make sure that I'm not saying this wrong. But what I saw was, dude, it looked like dude went low on purpose. 
but I want to make sure that I'm not looking at it wrong. Well, it's a chop block. It's I a, know I know what a chop block yeah. is, but dude, it's like yeah. he was I mean, that's what, that's, the tackle anyway. That was. When you're pulling, you are taught to take the legs out of a player. Right. You know, Absolutely. That's exactly what he did. Uh, you know, as a defensive line, I used to get chop block all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it sucks and you get your hands. But to me, it and, just looked like it was something else to that. Yeah, but my thing is, do chop block. And the only reason why you chop block like that is so he won't make the play down the line. Because linemen are taught that once a man, your man pull or whatever, yeah. you go yeah. down and you follow the guy. I mean, that's how we were Absolutely. taught. And that's why, you tra- that's why you chop block and all this kind of stuff. So you hate to see anybody get hurt. That's number one. But, uh, you know, if you if you go in that route, then you need to go ahead and get into the nip, the nick and cranny of Offensive defense line play, you'll see a lot of crazy stuff goes on, but everybody don't get in that. Everybody gets into the big plays and, yeah. the and stuff. Yeah. Like that. So I just hope he has a speedy recovery. You know, I hate Me to too. I do too. rookie, especially. I really don't care about the Giants. I mean, you know, they can lose every player. I don't care, but I hate to see individuals get hurt. They don't like that. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm glad people are stepping up and, you know, I'm glad he didn't tear anything apparently because. Three or four weeks, you ain't coming back from no turn. Right. That's He'll be back. Let's see. Stellas, your picket shines again. And I'm going to say it again. <laughs> I want to see it against first strikers. Period. <laughs> do I like Do I like him? Yes, I like him. He's going. He's the future. Right, right. He's the future of us. You know what I'm saying? But I need to see restrained routes. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to see everything. Like, we our first two preseason games was against nobody for real, right. and then we got to sit here and think about it. Our offense, our, our starting first of the line ain't that good. That's why that boy ain't gonna start right away, right? He don't want to hurt the future, right. right? You know what I'm saying? Like, go ahead and put a uh, dude in, yeah, that's cute. He can he can scramble and do what Ben used to do and stuff like that or whatever, but you gotta protect that investment right that we just brought in. That offensive line is not third yet, and we saw that on that preseason game uh Saturday. Really? It's not third yet. You know what I'm saying? So what quarter did he pick? Did he play what quarter did he play? He came in third, he came in he came in uh like third quarter because Washington College played Devin the whole first half. So, okay. I, I mean, don't get it twisted. I love the pick. I love how he's progressing, what he's doing, but he needs this year off. You know what I'm saying? Because that offensive line is not great. Right. Not at all. When I'm seeing Doogie, I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ, this ain't good. Right. We, didn't, we should have got offensive linemen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We could get every receiver in the world, and we know Pittsburgh can drop receivers. Right. That's great. But we need to protect this quarterback. We see what Ben went through all them years. True. He probably throughout his whole 18, 19 career. The max he probably had a great offensive line was probably 10 years of his career. And that was spotty. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But I like dude. He shine. I ain't gonna take I ain't gonna take it from him. He did what he supposed to do in preseason games, but I want to see him against dogs. I don't, I don't get, I mean, don't get me wrong. It, it's certain things that you can look for and you can see. But, but when, when it comes to quarterback play and, and don't get me wrong, dude was six or seven, uh, 76 yards, you know. Yeah. Had a TD, you know, stuff like that. But I'm kind of like you, like, that doesn't wow me. Like, when you throwing no. passes and shit like that. So it's like, dude, that's okay, cool, that's fine. You're going against other second and third team dudes to try to make it. That's cool. Right. Third quarter, you know. Uh, my whole thing is, and that's what media does, is kind of blow up, you know what I'm saying, and try to make it where it's a Trubisky against uh, Pickett and as soon as Trubisky mess up, we're going to do it. But, yeah, I mean, even Mason had a solid game. I mean, he was 17. Exactly. Points, so it's like, don't set this kid up, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, if he's the future, right. you don't set him up and get up there and make him. Because what you're going to have is another car get gun shy because he done got exactly. math a thousand times. So I'm with you. I'm there. What you said was right on, right on, man. They need to stay the course. 
run the ball. Bisky, right. do his little thing. You know what I'm saying? You got receivers there. Let him eat. I think you just got to be patient because what happens, what's going on is that Pickett probably has a better arm than all of them, truly better arm. Yeah, absolutely. And you've got all these toys, these receivers, yeah. you know, Pickett, uh, 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 Johnson and, and the other dude who needs to show up, the tall dude. Uh, you, yep. know, you got all these weapons and you want to make sure you get them, but you don't want to go ahead and put this kid in there when he's going through a complex defense that's bringing it. Right. They're going to try to destroy him if that offensive line is not together. I'm with you right, bro. You got it. You know, you are absolutely right. You don't don't jeopardize the future just because nah, yeah, nah. That's why you, we see, do this you see some stuff in preseason like and don't get me wrong. Right. Pre so preseasons for certain things, you see the depth. You can see you can see certain things you like. Man, I love that dude. He has it. He has it. But let's not get carried away. Right. Protect him of all at all costs. At all costs. Duke can coach. Tom, Tom can coach. So hey, you know. Right. He, he'll he make it right. to work. He'll do what you do, team. <laughs> <laughs> he'll make it work without a doubt. That's what he does. Right. Let me see. All right. So, Cowboys, wide receiver, Kevante Turpin, show, Mr. Showtime. I should I call him Turbo Turpin? <laughs> Dude is electrifying. If, if, if Kalen, Kellen don't use him like he should, something's wrong. I mean, because mm. they're using Pollard to play some receiver, slot receiver. I wouldn't even do that. Dude. It's fast enough, so forget this jet sweeps. He, he gonna definitely you see him in motion. You gonna have to pay attention. It ain't gonna be right. land like last year. It's gonna be this fast little dude who can take it to the house at will. I think the most exciting play it wasn't it wasn't the ninety eight yard uh, uh, kick return. It wasn't the seventy eight or whatever it was uh, punt return. It was the reverse the the, the reverse they gave him. And it was like you know. 10 yard game, but dude, the defender's coming up at him and he sees it and he slows down on purpose because he know that DB's going to slow down and make that. Then also, dude, hit the jet, turn the point. Right. Dude's have, I mean, dude's speed is, is un. Dude, you got to take two or three shots down the field, just airing it out for this dude. Ain't, it out. Like he's going to keep up with him, dude. He, he's, I don't know what he runs, but. All I know is he has an it factor that as an offensive coordinator, you have to be drooling at the mouth. At the quarterback position, you got to be drooling right. at the mouth. All that. Play action. Boom. Dude's gone. You can't keep up with him, bro. He, and I want to hats off to the uh, the USFL for uh, – uh, uh, and this is where the hats off to them. They did their season early enough where these – God, he's grown me. Can get their shine on. It, uh, get get their free agency, like you said. Get their shine shine on, so people can see them, and you can get them free agency. Because dude yeah. went there, dude was out of football because he had domestic violence thing. He'd have been picked yeah. from uh, TCU, but he got in trouble at TCU, so he went right. there, balled out, showed out. Now you know what I'm saying. He's he's gonna make the team. He's gonna do what he's gonna be the start of returning. He go. Anytime he's on the field, you got to pay attention because that's a screen and he's gone. So, hey, heads up, the NFL, they, they got it. Finally got it. And if you're somebody who don't make it, that is your ticket. Because we've done seen other other uh, hey. great players come from them different leagues and ball. The crazy thing about it, that league's gone. XFL hey. is coming. Well, <laughs> whatever league, you know what I'm saying? Whatever league you yeah, I see what you as said. Long, as, long as, it, as long as it's football. Not that Absolutely. old, not that old X, yes. XFL, yeah. whatever crap gimmick stuff. A not that's that. why they got the Rock doing it. Long as it's real football, that's all that matters. That's like all that gimmick, matters. That gimmick stuff, ain't nobody trying to see all that shit. That's entertainment, and, and and that's like you know other stuff. We want like if I'm going to go to that league, I need to make sure okay, it's if, if it's the stuff similar to the NFL, that's all I to do. The NFL. Exactly. Absolutely. And so, hey, heads off to him for going ahead and do that. You know, second half, he they he man, he just had a jersey on. They told him take your stuff off. Dude, you're already on the team. Right. You're there done. You're done ball. for the rest. You're done, oh, for the rest brother. Of the <laughs> Bubble wrap him. 
There you go. Sit over it. Let's right. back in him. You're here we are, baby. You made it. You made it, son. <laughs> oh, we made it. Ah, now dude. the thing about it is, and I and I paid attention closely. This right here is the pre eighty, so that's why you got the old heads like we had last time. Yeah. So you got. Let me see. Let me take your name out for it. Let me take my name over. You have Chuck Bedard versus Bobby Bell. We're talking about Eagles in Kansas City. We're talking about this would definitely be on social media. Uh, I've, absolutely. I've heard about know. Chuck. I heard about Chuck. I'm going to say that. I heard about Chuck, but I don't know Chuck that well. I don't know Chuck Ram and hey, Bobby brother. Bell. I don't know about Bobby Bell. So I ain't going to get that up. So that's yeah. going to be. <laughs> that's, that's, that's white and black, brother. Yeah, all right, all right. look, look. When I, when, I, when I get the color, you couldn't even. Yeah. I mean, it was like, dude, then ain't even get good pictures. So hey, that would definitely be close. We'll see what's going on. Who they think? I'm sure that you know, Eagles or the Kansas City Chiefs. They can go ahead, right. and do that yes, uh, uh, big time. Right. On that was so. Uh, yeah, yeah when, we one, of, when we get out of that bracket, <laughs> big time. Last one. We got the net. I mean, the Knicks and the Jazz re-engaged. We're talking about the Mitchell talks, but now I saw some where they they offered. Uh, uh, first, they offered um, uh, Obi, Obi Toppin, uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. Evan Fournier, and it was yep. another player and five first round picks. <laughs> five. But you, but you know what's so crazy? What what uh. What uh, what's his name? Ob uh, no, not uh, Rudy. What Rudy did was made the market go up so stupid because what the uh, what uh, uh Memphis gave him gave the uh, uh Utah Jazz or whatever, right? Yeah, Minnesota. Yep. Four. So, well, Minnesota. I thought it was Memphis. Minnesota, yeah. right? You're right. You're right. So, what what was going to happen is, for now on, with every trade, it's going to be bananas. Because how do y'all give up all of that for dude who, I mean, yeah, he got defensive player or whatever like that. Yeah, like me and you talk about all the time. We do, Okay. Yes, we do dog you, Rudy. You, you in the NBA, it is what it is. But you not that guy, though. Yeah. For them to give up that much for you? Yeah, they gave up. So now for Donovan Mitchell, it's going to be like, hold on. Now teams is looking like, man, we ain't not giving that up, but you should give it up because Mitchell is better than Rudy. You know, the crazy thing is, five first round. I love Donovan. Love him. Him and Rudy Goldberg, neither one of them was worth four or five, to be honest. I mean, so you ready to give a five first round pick? Five first. Unless you got, like, you know, they may have two here, two there. Five, dude. We're talking about five years of that's it. Like you don't pick in the first round, face the bar. That, woo. So, like you said, what if? Well, let's let's say it. The rent what ten first rounds? Jesus, <laughs> I mean, yeah. and that's why he's still stuck in Brooklyn. <laughs> and and that's you know why what? He's still in Brooklyn. If, and if I'm Brooklyn, I want to see the market for what you ask for Donovan Mitchell. Love Donovan. Donald's my guy. But he ain't no good Durant. So if you can file for him, you at least I said 10, but you at least get the seven or eight first round. No, you can't do that. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. And he's gonna leave. And he's gonna leave. And he's gonna leave. I'm just so this this right here, dude, like this, this is, is why I think dominant. this is the I think this is why I, I go to the edge more of the NFL uh -huh. more. Not for one, because we, we play football. I mean, we all play ball, but right. football is the more passionate with us, right? Right. You're not going to see this in the NFL. Oh, no. Because you know why? Because them owners is going to cut it, chop it off. Man, you alive? You going to give up what for who? No, we're not doing that. No, no. We're not doing that. What are we doing? Now we got to have a big owners meeting talking about, nah, we're not doing this. Ain't none of these, they not in the woo, 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 woo. 
Don't get it twisted. I love how the NBA now the players is coming together with the little thing that they got with Chris Paul, the president of, and stuff like that. That's great. That's beautiful. But at the same time, it's getting to the point where it's like Before. now they picking and choosing where they going, having draft picks that you got to give up for me That's and stuff like that. It's just getting out of control. Because you got to look. Check us out. Let's be honest. Rudy Go- Gobert and Donovan Mitchell are like from 18 to 30. Yes. Players. Yeah. Let's, let's say that. Yes. Like I said, what are you giving for the 18 on end? Like, it don't make sense. Like, five years you, New York, was saying bye. And then, I mean, like I said, sometimes they might have had two. I don't, but still, bro, like, that is bananas. Love the Mitch. Love him. Potential. Still young. Oh, kind of stuff. But he's not a damn man. What are you giving for these cats? What's Tatum getting? Right. People think Tatum is better than Donovan Mitchell, right? Especially yeah. after especially after this past year. Tatum yeah. Robert, yeah. Robert, yeah. Robert, you know, all the yeah. What are you giving for him if you had to give up? I mean, that don't even what that look like. Right. Come on, bro. That's... And and the crazy thing about it, now what they just started is not only is the free agency thing is gonna go stupid, right? You know what I'm saying? Like the draft picks okay. and all that is gonna go dumb. Not like the money is really gonna go crazy because, like, you want me here? I go get five hundred million over here. Trade me, I guarantee you. Well, trade me. They gonna, they gonna give up everything. I'm not for me. nobody. Like, bro, nah. You, it's hey. almost, it's almost like should you trade and cripple the franchise? You know, trade. For, you yeah, so you, so you, well, I mean, let's back it up. Not even trade. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm saying let's back it up. Not even trade. It's main, mainly like, would you go trading for somebody? Because that's who's getting burnt. The people trading for somebody. Yeah. One who's yeah, losing are. the draft picks. Like, dude, I'm. And you're going to be stuck with that same team for right. the next five, six yeah, years right, that you right. give them draft picks. Right, right. I, that's, come on, bro. You gonna be going to free agent shopping like you know, like like the Cowboys? Oh, uh, let me get you for <laughs> let me get you for fifty thousand. You know, and you know what? You know what's so crazy, bro? Like people will say we agree with Draymond saying we 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 businessmen now and stuff like that. Yeah, y'all could be that, but at the same time, y'all messing up the market. You understand what I'm saying? Like KD, we, we, it's, it, he's gonna always be an example because. He never stayed at a certain team for a long time. Right. You was with Golden State, well, for three. Then you left and went to uh, uh, the, uh, Brooklyn. And you only been there for two. Now you're ready to leave, and they gave you that big extension. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like now I'm starting to feel like the old head. Stay somewhere and try to win the chip. Man, hey. All I got if they can't build around you, to something who don't want to play with KD. All I gotta say is, uh, I would now because you never know he's gonna be there. My, like that too. He like need that too. he need to go ahead and do one year deals, two year deals, stuff like, and that's it. Like because this how like LeBron did it two years. This because you, dude, you're not gonna be there. You're not. I mean, right. and you're wasting everybody's time. I mean, you know, I can see the Lakers. You know, hey. LeBron, you actually deserve it. I mean, you balled this past year. You owe this. Yeah, still yeah. Stuff and like they're going to say, you, you got it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you heard, what, two more years? Because that's not crippling them. You know what I'm saying? Crippling them would be like signing LeBron for a five, 400, 500 million contract for uh, for five, six, seven years, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So he, I, yeah, he ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? That, that's silly. But two-year deal? All right, that's cool. I mean, you're going to bring him back. Right. So, you know, we're good like that. But like you said, Minnesota messed the whole thing up when they did that four. So now everything is, you know, hey, what you going to give me for him? I'm going to need everything. Because you know they're looking at that. Well, he's better than him. Oh, no, nah, you got to come mm-hmm. off them goodies, baby. I need more than that. I don't just right need them three, them three weak players. I need everything in your farm system. I need all your draft. You, you won't even need to be at the draft. Like, you know, what won't you be no head at the draft with you, bro. It's a wrap, man. That kind of stuff, bro. What that, you said. That's crazy, man. <laughs> I, I, I don't get it, man. That, that's banana. It is what it is, like you said. That's, woo. We out of here, man. 
Yes, sir. Late night to Mark and Will tonight. Thank you guys for joining us. We really appreciate you guys. Hey, tomorrow we're supposed to have Chris Dishman on 24th, which is Wednesday. Romeo yep, Sheffield. Yep, yep. DB from Mayo High, Romeo Sheffield. On the 25th is Thursday. I ain't going to tell y'all yet on that one. That's, that's no, a, don't, don't tell them. That's don't a get it. That's a get So, hey. <laughs> y'all. Y'all know y'all how. Y'all be good. Peace. Monday through Friday, play. Watch it while you own the go. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Catch them at 8 p.m. They gon' tell you what they know. <laughs>